race fans, this is Larry Supermouth Huffman, AMA Hall of Fame announcer, and this isn't Supercross, it's Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday! Wednesday! And you're watching Bay Fishing with Roman and Brian. Stand by while the boys teach secrets of bay bass fishing with Roman on his six-second nitro-burning pedal drive kayak, and Brian in his Cool Bates high-speed dragster boat that he takes out every Every Sunday, 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 Sunday! Be there! What up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fishy Hour. Today is a special episode. As you can see, we have the sign-up Spotty Bowl 2024 San Diego Session 5. Let's get started. Just kidding. Before we get started, let's bring in the champ himself. Four-time champ. Four-time four time Spotty Bowl champ. Mr. Brian Likes to Fish. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Oops. Can there you, you go? There you go. Yeah. You How are you? Dude, I'm doing awesome. I know you are. You know, like we, we're, uh, it's a kind of like a wrestling intro that we're doing right there. Um, it reminds me of a movie I just saw called called Peanut Butter Falcon. What? You sent me the link to that. I haven't got, seen that you yet. You haven't seen it? Oh, dude, it's such a good movie. No crazy special effects, nothing crazy like that. It's just straight up story. It's a really cool movie. I'll Peanut, watch it. What is it again? Let me write it down. Peanut Butter Falcon. After you watch it, you got to get back to me. Let me know what rule number one is. Okay. All right. Well, hey. You know what? If you guys are used to watch this show a long time ago, we used to do movie reviews. So guess what? We got a movie review coming up. Oh, we do? Let's go. You review it, and I'll review it after I watch it. So next yeah, yeah. next week, let's okay, review cool. it. Okay, cool. Bring it back I'll, movie reviews. It's we'll not a result it. show next week. So maybe oh, perfect. There we go. Spotty at Best says that's a fire movie. Yeah, exactly. It's such a good movie, dude. It's just like if, if I describe any part of it to you, it's going to it's gonna just experience it. It's an experience. It's a cool movie. Is it a comedy? Uh, just watch it. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I always think about like a like a movie like that that like like uh, is all story based, but yeah. it's a comedy. Yeah, and it's a movie that you watched the first time. And you're kind of like, eh, but then it grew on you. Like Napoleon Dynamite for me, the first time I said that was pretty good. But dude, that movie has grown on to me where I like laugh at every single scene of Napoleon Dynamite. I love that movie. <laughs> yeah, so Napoleon Dynamite is, is a good movie. And you do yes. it does it does grow on you. This movie is just instantly good. It's just good. You'll be like, dang, that's a good movie. I can't wait. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh yeah. So first order of business. Sorry guys. I was like, <laughs> I, I just I, I just in the moment I I saw the, the wrestling intro and I was like, wrestling, okay. All right, so first order of business. Shout out and round of applause from the live studio audience. For Peter eight six, let's go, Peter. Redeemed himself. First comment of the evening. He redeemed himself, reclaiming his space. Holy smokes! Todd Projects just subscribed. Todd, thanks for subscribing to the to the show. Awesome. Stoked, happy to have you here. All right, and we're gonna give the first like of the evening to Mr. Jared Brecht. Right and roll applause from the live studio audience. If you want to be part of the live studio audience. Let me know, and I'll see if I can get you some tickets. Tickets are hard to come by these days, but we'll see what we can do. <laughs> if anybody wants to come and be on the show, just sit in my garage with me. You know, <laughs> Judge, I, just sit. So you can sit. I got two spots right here. If anybody wants to go host. To That's so awesome. Shout out to Steven Gage. Benji. What up, Benji? Ben, Tom Cobb, Moreno in the house. Uh, uh, Bullhead, Arizona. MMFC chapter in the house. Uh, Oliver SD Fisher. What up, Oliver? Thanks for tuning in. Aaron Etiquette. Frank Santiago, the most famous man on, was it? The most famous man on. In Spotty Bowl. In Spotty Bowl. Let's go. Frank, any <laughs> one of those keychains, bro? Uh, uh, we yeah. got uh, we got Billy. Oh, I already got Oliver. I got uh, Billy Little in the house. What up, Billy? Good to see you in here. Uh, Wharf TV. What up, coach? Uh, we got Ooh. Mr. Salty Dangler in the house, keeping it salty, keeping it dangly. We got. <laughs> We got Leonard. What up, Leonard? Good to see you in here. Captain Dan, 42320. I'm actually home this week. Bit. I got Sweet. Arnie. What's up, Arnie? Good to see you in here. Uh, Todd Projects in the house. We got Eric Klein. Eric Cobra Klein, if you're nasty. 
Wow. Javi in the house. What up, Javi? Good to see you last night in the stream. Thanks for tuning in. That was fun. We got one cool tuna. Jeff, type in exclamation point OCT in the chat. See what happens. Just, just go for it. See what happens. We got um, Garrett in the house. What up, Garrett? Thanks for tuning in. All right. Everybody got a shout out. If you didn't get a shout out, you didn't comment fast enough. It's not my fault. It's your fault. <laughs> 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 oh, what the judge? They're missing judge. Oh yeah, shout out to the judge. Woo! What's Sorry, up, judge. <laughs> the most important person in chat, actually. I don't see. Oh, there he is. I found a largemouth bass in my mailbox. Anybody want to buy it? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no, he said he found a largemouth bass mailbox. That's yeah, because I have a largemouth bass mailbox. That's so funny. I have a spotty mailbox, but I won't put it up there because I'm afraid somebody will finagle with it. Yeah, so, uh, Eric will steal it. I got my largemouth out there. <laughs> What up, You're Carl? driving through Mona and you see a largemouth mailbox. I don't know if anybody else has one. That's my house. All right, here we go. So first, second order of business is Pop Top because I'm getting thirsty. All right. Yeah. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best Pop Top you've ever heard in your life, 1 being the worst, rate this Pop Top. San Pellegrino. Jeez. <laughs> Performance enhancing. Does that sound good? I can't tell. It sounds like you're in a tunnel. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dave Rage in the house. What up, Dave? 8.8. <laughs> 8. Nope. Solid 9.5. Richie Rich in the house. What up, Rich? Richie Rich, what's up? Uh, Salty gave you a 10. Yeah. One cool tune to give you a 9.9 .9 on the tapping. <laughs> Check out that mug. Oh, Disneyland, nice. Yeah. You want to give those out to the big wigs. Splunking <laughs> with Roman and Brian. <laughs> All right, if you guys uh, could put into the chat what you're having as a tasty, refreshing beverage tonight, put it into the chat to separate our scores because I'm about to blow your mind. Just kidding. On a scale of 1 to 10, tell me the best pop top you ever heard in your life won't be in the worst. Rate this pop top. <laughs> good. Pretty good. I thought it sounded good, but I'm wearing headphones. Oh, is it? So I, yeah. I didn't, I didn't get that. I didn't get as much fizz. I was as much fizz as I was expecting. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. What you guys? What are you guys drinking? All right, guys. So if you saw the thumbnail, guess what? You guys. Some people are happy they fish Mission Lake this weekend. Some people are not. Let me just tell you that Mission Mission Lake is notorious. For sometimes being rough. Let's just say that. But tonight is the results show. Session 5. San Diego Spotty Bowl. <sighs> See how you guys did. Uh, first up, we got a few announcements. Then I'm going to go right to side pots. We got some new side pots. Some guys have came in. What is the going on here? Wait, we got are we, how, are we getting, how are we getting those? Benji Tom caught in the house with a $10. Wow. What is this? Is this, is this Super Chat? What is this? First time I've, I've what ever the heck is going on? Chat. <laughs> oh yeah, I enabled I enabled super chat super tips super chats super chats on the channel. By the way, thanks t thanks Benji. Round of applause for live stream for Benji. <laughs> Burrito time. <laughs> okay, where was I? Thank you, Benji. Uh, oh yeah, Mission Bay. So we're gonna give the uh, side pots out first, as always. Then results, and then right after results, I'm gonna show you guys where you guys stand as far as playoff positions go and where you're at if you're in striking distance. So we're gonna mm -hmm. break down. Playoff stand is two rounds left, though. So if you're close, don't give up. You never know. Yep. You never, never, never know. So don't, don't be discouraged. Keep fishing hard. As Leonard would say, fish harder. That's right. Uh, um, and then after that, we got a huge PB shoutouts. I am so excited about PB shoutouts. I got a huge announcement for somebody that's fishing Spotty Bowl that did something really big a few hours ago. That caught off the presses. I don't think anybody else knows this, but me wow. and wow. maybe a few people that live streamed it too. But there's some big news coming in. What is Shout going out. on here? Oh, there we go. I just went through. There it is. Just the official thing finally popped. The alert finally popped through. Benji Tomcat in the house. Donated $10 through Super Chat. Let's go. Nice job. Thanks, Benji. Thanks, Benji. Oh, my gosh. And then Spotty Bull Biggins at the very end. If you caught a 15-inch fish or bigger, then you will be in Spotty Bull Biggins. Okay, announcements, Roman, real quick. Uh, we got a big weekend coming up. We got April 20th, no skunk. Then Roman's leading that up, so I'll let you talk about that. Oh, uh, yeah. Tired of skunking? All day. <laughs> hold on. Let me let me go. Let me do this one. Let me do this apply. 
About okay. half the spotty bowlers are tired of skunking. Here we go. Here we go. Hi. Tired of skunking all the time? Getting out there? Getting your kayak ready? Launching it? Get on the water? And coming home skunked? Or maybe just catching one fish? What's wrong with you? Nothing. <laughs> you just haven't been taught. You need some techniques. You need to come out here with the boys and learn how to catch spotties. Saturday to the 20th, this coming Saturday, come join us, San Diego Bay. We're going to launch at 7. Show up whenever you can, however long, it, however long it takes you to get ready, but just be ready to launch by 7. Full details are in our Discord server. You can type in exclamation point Discord in the chat or exclamation point MMFC. It's free to join our Discord server. I just ask that you are polite and nice to the other anglers in there and only talk about fishing. And uh, other than that, it's a fun group. But we're meeting up on Saturday. We're going out. And our mission for everybody in the group is to make sure that there's no skunks in that session. Once everybody has caught at least one fish, then you can fish wherever you want. We're going to open it up. If you get there and you slay and you catch your fish, then it's your responsibility to look around to see who hasn't gotten a fish yet and kind of see what they're doing. Are they retrieving too fast? Are they casting in a weird place? Are they using the wrong lures in the wrong situations? And you got to kind of observe them. And then kind of say, you know what, try this instead. Try slowing down. Try this lure instead or try this color instead. And kind of just kind of coach them through catching a fish. Once they catch a fish, they're on their own. You don't have to keep coaching them. But it is going to make everybody a little bit better because when you help somebody else, especially when you observe them and you, and you see them make a mistake, you can see those mistakes in yourself in the future. So it's a really good way to learn and a really good way to help other anglers get better. And that's the whole point of, this whole, of, of MMFC, by the way, is just to help other people get better and get and grow the sport even more so that's what i got for you saturday be there i, I feel like this is like one of those as seen on tv ads are i was, I was trying to go out? for that i was trying to go for that feel right are you, are you gonna bust out a med rig <laughs> and start selling med rigs five for tired for tired of skunking all day oh no <laughs> I, no no it'll be uh it'll, uh and when you start catching fish i'll be like tired of catching tired of catching so many spies all day of course you're not <laughs> <laughs> Nedrick here, Nedrick there, Nedrick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Don't, don't wear out the Nedrick. I, you're gonna get too. I also in. watched. I also watched um, F Fallout that series. Oh yeah, I guess oh, about it's, starting. it's wild. Don't watch it with the kids, but it's a wild <laughs> series, and uh, they have like the little in in video like the ads for the bunkers. They're kind of like that, right? So it's kind of cool. What's anyway. What's more disturbing, Fallout or Micro Championship Wrestling? Oh my gosh, they're like on par, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, we've got that coming up. 20th, did you announce uh, in Discord? If you guys are interested in going, all the oh information is in the Discord channel for the No Skunk Day, April 20th. Mm -hmm. But uh, you're launching, launching the boats at 7. Yeah, so however long it takes you to get set up and rigged up to be able to move your kayak to the, to the water, show up at whatever time you need. If you need to show up at 6 because it takes you forever to load up your kayak and, and we'll do all the wiring and all that stuff, then show up at 6. But I show up like around, it takes me about 10 minutes to get set up. So I show up, try to show up like 30 minutes, 20 minutes beforehand. We might get a group picture together, but the priority is just to get on the water. Once we're on the water, I'll probably cruise around and take pictures of everybody with their catch just to give Brian some, some content for the, uh, for the PB shoutouts next week. Uh, last time we did this, we made a goal of a hundred fish instantly hit that in like the first two hours. So we're going to, depending on how many people go, see if we can break our, I think we had like 201 fish last time. Let's see yeah. if we can see if we can topple that. The wet, the fishing should be really good by the way. All right. Uh, next announcement, uh, spotty bowl, LA OC guys, get ready. Don't forget to declare your day. You got, everybody has this weekend off, no tournament as far as far as spotty bowl goes. Uh, the 26th through the 29th, Alamitos Bay up there in LA. So get ready, guys. That's coming up. What's up, Davies World? Yeah, Alamitos Bay. I got a bone to pick with that bay. I'm coming in, coming in strong, baby. I'm not messing around in Alamitos this time anymore. Uh, <laughs> Apps and Taps is coming up. That's the CCA event. Apps and Bam. Taps, May 18th, 4 to 8 p.m. down over there at Quivarian Basin. We've got a table of 20. We've sold 12 seats. There's eight left. So uh, May 18th. It's about a, it's about a month out, right? Yeah, about a month uh, yeah, out. Yeah, we're at 17th today, right? Yeah, so yeah, four like weeks. About, exactly a month out. I know it's kind of hard to to uh, to figure out if you're going to be available on that day, but we're getting closer and closer. There's only eight spots left. I haven't I haven't put it out to my, to my email list yet, but I will be probably 
sending it out this week. So if you want to get a spot, now's the time to get it while you can. And if you want to know where to get it, go to shop.romancaster.com. You can type in exclamation point shop in the chat and you'll get a link. Um, That's it. It's a really good value, guys. It's going to be over 100 degrees where he's at. He's going to be fishing for stripers down Ooh. in Lake Mojave. Wow, it's already 100 out there. Whew. It's starting to That's warm crazy. up down here a little too, eh? That's crazy. Starting to warm up. Uh, no rain in the forecast, finally. So this should be a nice weekend right here. Mm -hmm. uh, last announcement is for you, Roman. Uh, which No, actually, two more announcements. Uh, guys, believe it or not, July 20th is coming up. That is a Spotty Bowl Awards. I'm just going to make a quick announcement about that where we give away all the side pod cash, all the winnings, everything. We crown our new Spotty Bowl champions. We give out these belts. And that's all on July 20th at Vacation Isle, right across from Dana, the same place we had it last year. Just keep it in mind, July 20th, put it on your calendar. Uh, you definitely want to go to that. We have a huge raffle sometimes, and there's that games, was, and it's a whole day. Uh, last year, we had it somewhere else. The, the, what we had there last year was uh, was Macmus. So, oh, you're right. I'm so, sorry, Macmus. So yeah. it's not the same place we had Spotty Bowl results last year. It's going to be at a different place. It's basically across the water from Fast Dana. Dana? Yeah, Fast Lane? Yeah, Fast Lane. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, it's like a single gazebo. You probably walk past it a hundred times. You don't realize that it's, there's even a gazebo there. There's a, it's like the most burnout spot in San Diego under that bridge. Right. And if you're facing the water, you're going to go to the right. And it's that little gazebo right there. There's plenty of parking. It's a single gazebo. So we can take over the whole area and it's just really fun. We used that spot for, for Macmus last year. And we lucked out because it got a little bit late, and the the parade of boats was the lights parade of lights yeah, boats that's thing right. happened. Yeah. It was it was just like perfect. It just worked out. So All that's right. what we're gonna be having it this year. Davy says must be present to win. I will be at iCast. Davy iCast is, compares nothing to Spotty Bowl <laughs> Awards. You need to cancel that show and and bring that whole dial of Fish Labs group down to Spotty Bowl Awards. It's a much bigger event. Trust me. I need my record scratch uh, effect because something's going on. I think something's wrong with the liking system because I only see 19 likes and 51 people <laughs> watching. What the heck's going on? I'm gonna have to call YouTube. Hello? Okay, and as far as last announcements go, Roman's trying to hit a 1,000 spotties in 2024. Started it out last night on a oh live stream. Gosh. How'd that go, Roman? It was nice to get on the water. And, he came uh, out of a fishing retirement, guys. He's back. <laughs> I I'm caught 21 fish. Around body bowl. I caught 21 fish in about four hours of fishing. I live streamed the whole thing. There's links for it uh, in the Discord. Go check it out. I'm going to do – I'm going to try to fish Tuesdays. Live streaming from the kayak so I can get those 1,000 spotties. And then I'll do a recap video uh, that same week with just the catches. If you don't want to watch the whole live stream. Uh, and if you just want to see what, what, the, what the count is. I fixed everything. The night bot is fixed now. So now when you type in count or fish, sorry, exclamation point fish on my stream, it'll tell you what the current fish count is out of 1,000. So we just need to catch 979 more spotties. <laughs> yeah. Hey, everybody in the chat, write it if we want to see Roman fish one of the last two rounds of spot. Oh Let's get him in. Let's go. Let's come in and come in, take the dub and get out. Oh, no. Let's do it. <laughs> 20 fish. No problem, baby. 21, baby. Bat. Uh, and that is it for announcements, unless you got anything I forgot, Roman. No, that's it. I think we're good. Let's get these results. You know. I, you know what? The guys that just started Spotty Bowl, some of you guys that didn't get to enter like the very first year, I'm getting some bits in there. Um, remember when we used to fish 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. like a <laughs> marathon round? Back in the day, you didn't choose a.m. or p.m. You just showed up. You fish declared as as you day want. and you showed up and you could fish whatever hours you want. And you yeah. could fish all the hours if you want. What do you guys think? If we could twist the judge's arm to bring back a marathon round, do you think that would be a good idea? That's, no, that's what. So these guys, these guys never got to experience the marathon. Like you get there at dark and you leave at dark. No, that's like a. I'll we should those. we should do that like, as like a one off, right? I think the judge is also so so. Um, uh, I'm just gonna throw this announcement in because I, I just I just remembered. Uh, when we're, on Saturday when we're doing the um, the no skunk outing, get your confidence up, you know, get your practice in. And uh, then the judge is doing a, a little mini competition. It's outside of Spotty Bowl. I think yeah. he's doing a mini competition after that, like around, uh, was it four to five or five to something? 
the judge is doing uh, at Mission Bay over in a specific zone. He's doing a WTF event, which is a, a, a team event, and you and a partner are going to fish Ned Rigs. Oh. Um, I think it's 5 p.m. to 10 p.m., That's right, cool. Judge? And you're going to try to catch a 6-inch, 7-inch, 8-inch, 9-inch, 10-inch, 12-inch, and whoever has the most, uh, 5 to 10 judges, whoever has the most spotties in the 1-inch range will win the WTF belts. Oh, that's 40, cool. $40 to enter a team. $10 of that goes to whoever gets the biggest fish, and $30 goes to the winners. All right, there you go. If you need to leave the... the... I'm, a former, I'm a former WTF champion, and I think right now Adobo and uh, Alex Norton... Mm-hmm. Uh, the, are currently the WTF champions, so they'll be there defending their titles. If you need to, if you need to leave the the no skunk session early, so you can get ready for the for that competition. I mean, all good. I mean, what you fish, what you want to fish. There's options for you, which is amazing. When I started fishing, uh, here in San Diego, there wasn't that many like tournaments we could enter. We had like the the once a year, uh, toys for tots thing that yeah. they do, like the big thing, and maybe maybe one other one where like. Kayaks were like a, a side thing. <laughs> Dude, I, seriously, if you're a spotty angler, we're living the dream. Yeah. I fished for like 15 years, like these little rinky dink kind of yeah. tournaments. You know what I mean? I'm not yeah. bagging on any of them, but it wasn't like organized. And, yeah. you know, it's kind of frustrating sometimes. But, man, we're living the dream, man. We are living the dream. Spotty tournaments are popular. This is the biggest one. Happy you know, part of it. All right, you know what I've noticed? Get on- Real quick. Sorry. I'm sorry. You know what I've noticed is other organizations, other groups are doing spotty only measured tournaments now. And uh, I think that's fantastic, fantastic because like, think about it. Like they see that it's working and they want to do more stuff for you guys. And that's, that's what everybody's winning right there because now you have even more options. I don't care if you fish spotty bowl or whoever else's tournament. Right. But the fact that you have more options is great because they're creating more things for you, which is really cool. Anyway, this is the glory years yeah. guys. All right, so let's get on to these results. I'm going to go into my screen share here. Room. Let's We're going to start this. out with some side pods. Let's get this working here. Dang. All right, I'm ready. All right, let's go. Uh, music. Uh, are we doing some music? There we go. <laughs> we always do. <laughs> Spotty <laughs> Bull side pods. San Diego. Dude, that little picture of that kid, that's Peter86, by the way. And oh, I you love remember Peter. When, used to watch, when you remember we used to watch He-Man at the very end of He-Man at Orco, they'd like, or no, that wasn't Orco. They'd hide like a little character somewhere at the end of the show. They'd reveal it when it was some I'm going to start doing that with that picture, <laughs> Peter. Every single show, I'm going to hide that picture somewhere. Oh, my God. That picture so makes me so happy it. when I see it, dude. It's just like, <laughs> it's just perfect. Legend. It's like joy. Bye. It's joy. First up. You guys should know this by now. Uh, make sure your mouth is closed. We're still getting deductions, guys. So it's a bummer. One inch can be a lot in this tournament. So make sure the mouth is closed on your fish. That's still the number one deduction. And then declare your days. Number two deduction is not getting your fish in before the end of your time period. Remember, if your one o'clock is your cutoff, 101 don't count. So Make sure you get those in before. Submit as you go, if you go, if you're comfortable to do it that way. But if not, give yourself plenty of time to submit. And also, if you can submit, if I would, we'd like you to submit one picture at a time with the uh, um, the length of it, and then the next picture, not as a big gallery. It's just hard to go through a big gallery of pictures when you're going through, you know, 200 anglers. All right, closed mouth. That's open mouth. That's closed mouth. Heaviest, we want to see the whole fish in the in the in the picture. I know it's kind of hard to do in a kayak sometimes, but do your best to get the your make sure you get your code and the whole fish visible. And we want a digital scale with a decimal point if possible. This is a, and if you want to be in the side pots, we do not submit those for you. The only one we do is the fast lane kayak one for the biggest fish of the tournament. Other than that, you need to go in and submit your fish in the side pots. There's a lot of them, guys. I know. But, uh, you know, when you're sitting at home, look at your phone, you might as well be looking at side pots, figure those things out, maybe even make yourself a cheat sheet. Some of these have an individual code you need to remember, too. So you have to you have to submit these. First up, thank you, Judge Ramona Automotive. Judge is awesome. Uh, what else can I say about the judge? Uh, the judge is the reason this is going on. Me and the judge were judging last night for so long. He fell asleep on me about 10.50, and I kept working till about 1 a.m. What's up, Brett Wilson? 
coming for you in Alameda, so I'm not messing around anymore. I don't know why that came out of my mouth. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, Judge is working hard, guys. He's got a business to run, and he's running Spotty Bowl, which is almost like a oh, – I'm not going to say part-time or full-time job. So everybody, thank the Judge. He's an awesome dude. He's the nicest, most generous person I know. Thank you so much, Judge. I appreciate all your time and everything you've done for us. I do appreciate you. Todd Burton making our belts. I haven't seen any pictures yet, but I'm sure they're in the works. Todd Burton, check out toddburtonart.com. He makes all kinds of cool art, flags, mirrors, mailboxes, Disney sign. But his main thing that he's really proud of are these spotty bowl belts. That's his That's his claim to fame. That's his. If I ask Todd what's the best thing you've ever made, I'm going to guarantee he's going to say spotty bowl belts. Well, maybe the mailbox. The mailbox is pretty dang awesome, but the belts. That's what it's famous for now. The, man, the belts are so Star good. Todd. The belts oh, are man. So good. Yep. Thank you, Todd. Oh, Todd shoot. Awesome. Here we go. Garrett donated $10 through Super Chat. Let's go, Garrett. He said, buy uh, some Bitcoin. $2.50 for Roman and $3.50 for Brian because YouTube takes 30%. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thank Garrett. So man, I never even got a Super Chat. I appreciate that. But. Uh, Let's not get Roman started on Bitcoin now. This is <laughs> another show for another time. We'll be a, we'll, we, this is not a four-hour show, Garrett. <laughs> but thank you. Uh, did I ever tell you the night I, when I went on vacation with Roman and split a hotel room with him? <laughs> hey, let's just keep, let's keep the show going, Brian. Come on. All right. Uh, all right, longest spotty for sure. Alex Norton set that like week so one, funny. 27.5. That one will probably stand. Ramona Automotive, by the way, all the cash prizes are donated by Eric and Ramona Automotive. Check them out. They're in Ramona right next to Denny's for all your automotive service needs. Or if you just have a question about your car, man, sometimes the judge can just diagnose it over the phone for you, spotty bowler, let you know what's up. Alex Norton, I don't know how much species champion, pro champion, mass, no, yeah, Masters champion, world record holder right there. It's a nice <laughs> fish. Brian likes to fish. Longest spotty from shore, 17.75. Probably be beat. There's some big fish being caught lately, so we'll see. 17.75. Good looking fish right there. Eric Klein, Cobra 89, 4.75 Shiner Perch, 25 bucks. Hey, 25 bucks, 25 bucks, right? Yep, exactly. What'd you get that on, Eric? Jeez, that thing is dink. How many times have you caught a Shiner Perch? Uh, never. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, that's going to be a hard one to beat. Smallest others, anything besides a spotted bay bass. Does does scooping him out of the bait tank at uh, East County Bait and Tackle count? <laughs> Even if he did that, it'd be hard to find a 4.75. <laughs> All out of the Shiner box. <laughs> uh, 25, longest other. This one's a crazy catch. No halibuts or spotties on this one, but Chad caught a 26-inch, longer than 26. That's just how long his bump board was. 26-inch no, smoothhound shark. No sharks were harmed during the making of this content. Except Man, for dude, maybe the a little choked out. <laughs> maybe sharks hurting right there. <laughs> Chad's laying it out. Got, got a the kung fu grip on that guy. <laughs> 26 inch. Ooh, that's me. Somebody's going to have to come in with a Barracuda. I think that's the only thing that's going to beat that in the bay. Maybe Corvina, but Barracuda. Yeah. Good luck. The nice thing about the smooth hounds is they're not slimy, too. You ever grab them? They're just like sandpapery kind of, but they're so strong. You have you ever what? caught like a 40 inch one? No. I've caught, oh. uh, they just, they can, they're so flexible, which is, that's, that's what amazes me. And you know what else amazes me? Our chat. Our chat is amazing. Uh, Doug says, my AC went out in my Honda. It's in my Honda Accord. Any quick fix? <laughs> I, I, Doug, I'm going to guess. Open it's a low on that It's salty to, said open a window. <laughs> <laughs> go to AutoZone, and sometimes you just fill it up with that refrigerant if the compressor still That's running, true. and bam. Right, Judge? How's that? That's true. Uh, so the smooth out sharks, but they're, if you ever catch one of those, they don't have teeth like, a, like you would think. They just have like sandpaper for teeth. But if you ever hold it up by the tail, you're trying to get the picture. Man, those things are strong. I'm trying to straighten them out. So yeah, and if, just because you're holding it, the- yeah, just because you're holding it from the tail, don't think it's like not strong enough to come back. It'll come back all the way around and bite your hand. It's those things are super flexible. Yeah, but that thing, if that thing bites you, it's probably weaker than a spotty bite. They're like just sandpaper. Yeah, but not if it was not if it was an angel shark. No, don't do that with an angel shark. All right, I'm rambling here. 
fifty dollar longest spotty. Here we go. We got a new one. Oh, Luke so Junior, seventeen point seven five. Dang. Nice job. Pulling up. To, to handle a fish like that, you got to have a welder's mitt. I don't know if you know. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Luke, I talked to Luke about this fish. It's going to be on PB Shoutouts later on. He's going to tell you how he caught it, where he caught it, everything about this fish. So hang out for PB Shoutouts to hear about this. But, man, pulling in. So next step up to get longest spot is 18-incher, guys. So is anybody going to get 18-incher this year? Maybe up in L.A., but I don't know. You know what? I'm super proud of that fish, though. That fish was caught in Mission Lake. And that's where I'm always saying the big ones are at. And check that thing out. Not out of that other big bay that's super fancy. This came out of the Lake Mission Lake 17.75. So holding big fish. My girl holds a big fish. So congratulations, a, Luke. Sweet fish. That's a freaking so awesome that's fish. That's by the way. Catch it in a tournament. That's awesome. Yeah. On the other spectrum, we got Dale Shaw. Let's go. <laughs> Smallest spotty. 6.5. That one probably came out of San Diego Bay, though. 6.5. Dale Shaw pulling it out. Is that mouth closed? <laughs> uh, 6.5. Dale. Hey, that might hold. We'll see. Heaviest other, Alex Norton. 7.62. Looks like got a halibut there at night. Is Alex wearing some kind of tactical vest? You got to wear that sometimes when you're at shore. There's a lot, of, lot going a good on at Is night. that a different one? No, it's the same one. Okay. It's Milk in that new. one. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, that's a, that's a good fish right there. That's probably like a hundred dollar fish. I think he's got on. that. Oh thing. yeah, definitely. Here it is again. Longest halibut. 50 bucks again. Alex Norton. <laughs> Throwing the Yakuza gang sign up. 27.5 inches. Good job, Alex. There we go. Peter 86, 67.5 longest sponsor bag. So you got to catch, uh, up to, I guess you got to catch five fish on five different of our spotty bull sponsors in the, so they have to be included in the picture. The bait, Peter's at 67.5. I'll be shocked if somebody beats that. Peter, you're looking pretty good on that one. That is a good bag. Five sponsors. That's cool because it's you got to be a pretty good angler to be able to bust out five during your tournament, bust out five different styles of fishing and catch you know five nice fish on that. Good job, Peter. The over-under was not hit. If you don't know what that is, that is something the judge came up with, and it's just randomly somebody's going to win this. And it's between the closest is between 59 and 60.75. I guess you guys could probably get it's not many spots between that, but if somebody hits that bag number randomly, you're gonna win 50 bucks. So just donated by Ramon Automotive. Thank you, Ramon Automotive, for donating that. But you're gonna randomly win by just getting a certain bag size, and that's what it's between. So if anybody ever hits that, I will announce it here on the show. Thank you to all the Spotty Bowl sponsors. We appreciate all you guys. Hookup Baits, Submission Fishing Co., Cool Baits, Akuma, Reaper, Fish Labs, Fishy Hour, One Cool Tuna, Tackle Supply, East County Bait and Tackle, HD Baits, Fast Lane Kayak Center, CB and Bait Company, California, Harbor Fishing, Ramona Automotive, and Real Happy. We thank you so much for sponsoring Spotty Bowl. Uh, we do appreciate you. Make sure, guys, if you go and you uh, go to a shop or you're online, Consider our, all of our sponsors. Let's support our local sponsors. We do appreciate you guys. Uh, been showing this reel off. One of these days, I'm going to do my uh, review on it. But uh, Akuma Hakai was donated by Dave in here in chat right now. Akuma Hakai, low-profile bait casting reels. The main body uses the Akuma light cast, magnesium alloy construction for ultimate strength and lightweight. That thing has 20 pounds of drag. I've been fishing this thing uh, almost all my spotty bowl rounds. I have two of them, so I'm putting that thing through the tests. It's holding up so far, so... Review coming in. Uh, last week, when we didn't have results show, we had Davey Brown on the show. So if you're interested in uh, seeing what Davey Brown, who's a spotty bull competitor, awesome anglers, fished around the world, had some cool stories on this interview, check out our last week's interview with Davey Brown on Fishy Hour. He talks about Akuma Fish Lab, talks about working at Disneyland. He talks about all kinds of cool stuff. So you get to know Davey Brown. Hopefully we're going to have a part two. Davey, are you in chat? Well, let's do a part two one of these days. Maybe when Spotty Bowl's all wrapped up. Maybe. Oh. Yeah, he says, woohoo, let's go, Davey. So, yeah, check out that interview last week. If you missed it, it's a cool interview. Davey Brown's a cool dude. He's awesome. Uh, all right, longest back, spotty right? on submission fishing code jig. We got Juan Delgado. Let's go, Juan. 14.5. You are a winner. Ra uh, it looks like he got. Round of applause for Brian's pronunciation. Thank you. Juan's only been fishing the tournament for like three years, so I got hit. There's only one person at this point. I can't get the last name quite right. We all know who that is. Michael. 
Uh, 14.5, uh, just direct message Muto on Submission Fishing Code. Check out Muto's shows on Thursday, too. He's still broadcasting. He's out there in Florida, but he's still talking about spotties because, you know, he can't get out of his mind, you know, once you. He's probably going to move back. He's probably missed the spotted bay bass that much, from what I hear. So we'll see. But uh, Juan, congratulations. You get $25 worth of Submission Fishing Co. And uh, Muto sponsors that every single um, spotty bowl. So if you want to try to win that, get a Muto jig and uh, submit it in the Submission Fishing Co. side pod. Joey Bassin's donating a custom. Is it brought on here? There it is. Custom. Uh, crankbait rod that he makes himself and uh, the person with the longest fish on a crankbait or hard bait will win this custom rod made by Joey Bass and it's a 24 7 uh, ends at the regular season you just need to remember to include the code JB24 and guess what Kevin I don't know how you got that it looks like you got it on a jerk bait <laughs> That's awesome. but man that must have been a huge fight from shore Jeez, yeah, that is a heavy heavy fish those are the mud marlins right there Roman. Yep. you ever caught one of those no but i've but i've been in the water I've, I've, I've been snorkeling around those things and those things are huge oh my gosh so many times that have i hooked into those and if you're in a spotty bowl tournament and you hook into that thing it's like you don't want to like snap it off because you know it could be who knows the world record or a huge halibut or something yeah. but you kind of know it's a, a big stingray or bat ray or something and it takes so long to get them in and like waste like 40 minutes i mean it's a fun fight but during the tournament man it's a it's <laughs> sometimes you run into those things uh 25.25 majored it from the tail end to the nose his mouth closed on that thing <laughs> so that's new uh, 25, yeah, I think a barracuda could beat that. It's probably one of the only things. Too bad he yeah. couldn't use his tail. Oh, he can't <laughs> like, use a stinger? I don't know. Judge judges all this. I'm just guessing. Oh, because it's off the hog trough? <laughs> yeah, probably. I don't know. Oh, he should put that tail on the hog trough. I no. think he passed somebody's, like, measured it wing to wing, too. That's Those true. are kind of a difficult fish to measure, yeah. you know? Just to get that thing on the bump board is difficult. Congratulations, Kevin. You are leading. Uh, Fish Labs down in SD. Roy still leading this. He caught that, looks like, on the tail spin, 14.5. Mm -hmm. Longest spotty caught on any Fish Lab products. Catch that with your code from your tournament in there. Check out Fish Labs. Check out that interview last week. We talked about Fish Lab products. Um, they have all kinds of stuff from uh, Ned Rig baits to spinner baits to tail spins. So check out. Fish lab and, if you, and if you're going to buy stuff, guys, on the website, you, you guys have to remember you, you have a 30% discount code if you're a participant in Spotty Bowl. So take advantage of that. It's a big discount. That's a huge discount. Uh, heavy Spotty gift card from East County Bait and Tackle. It's, uh, it's $150 worth of uh, it's gift card Dang. at East, Bait, Bait, East County Bait and Tackle. So we got a brand new leader on this, Wyatt. 3.2 pounder, Mission Bay. 16.7, 16 and a half, 16. Looks like 16 and a half, 3.2. That thing must have been a fat fish, 3.2 pounds. That's so heavy. Pop. I know. That's Jeez, crazy. Coming dude. out of Mission Lake, man. Mission Lake producing some whoppers right there. That's... Everybody right here is probably pausing it and looking at that boat. I know exactly what that is, but like everybody knows where that spot is. But, man, that thing came out of that hole right there. That's amazing. Congratulations, Wyatt. That is an amazing fish, 3.2 pounds. Wow. Just must have been a fat. Look at the top lip on that thing. That thing must have been a fatty. Mm -hmm. That's wild. Congratulations on that. Uh, Reaper slow pitch jig. Here we go. Jared Brech, 12.25. He's a winner. He's won four out of the five rounds. I think he's like <laughs> stockpiling up Reaper, Reaper yeah. slow pitch jigs. Yeah. <laughs> you guys got to beat him, you know. To beat him, you have to submit in this. Jared, I think he goes out there and he's, he's the ringer, man. He's Reaper slow pitch jig all the way. <laughs> He's Reaper Congratulations, sponsor, Jared. Yeah. What's up, Brech family? Hope you're watching back there. What's up, Cash? So, uh, Jared, you've won $25 in product. I'm sure at this by this point, you know what to do with that. He's probably just mounting up a huge, huge cash pile. He's probably mm -hmm. cash in all one day. What's up, Jared? One cool tuna. We got a winner this week. So, uh, oh, nice. Wyatt, Wyatt again with a 12 inch using the, uh, is Jeff, is that the OCT Ooh. 10? I think it's called. Yeah. It's like a little mini iron. He's made specifically for fishing the bays or uh, halibut or spotty on it? barracudas. You got a spotty on it. Oh, uh, why is why in the chat? Was he swimming it? Oh, yeah. So, uh, of course, I always ask. I was like, hey, why? How did you catch good. it on that? Just curious. And he, he said he casted it and uh, 
let it pause, let it sink for about three to four seconds, and he slowly retrieved it just like, I guess, like you would a regular iron. OCT1. Near the bottom. That's so cool. OCT1. And he, he got a spotty on it. So congratulations. Once you, I think you can learn the cadence on that. I yeah. think that could be a, a, a halibut or barracuda, I mean, corvina. Sense. Wait till water heats up. That's very cool. Hey, my bait. Uh, Wyatt, uh, we'll put you in ch in in touch with one cool tuna at Jeff, and a, uh, we'll get you your product. It's an OCT one. If you know what, you, what we probably need to do to the slide is add something next to this uh jig uh this uh jig so we can see how big it is and like maybe put like a a quarter next to it or like something that we know what the size of, because it looks like it's a full size uh iron, but it's look at that look at it next to the fish. It's definitely it's, this is the OC, OCT one says Jeff. Yeah, OCT one. I would say that thing's what three and a half inches, Jeff. I think it said it's nine grams, maybe. So it's pretty light too. Yeah, that's cool. HD Bates Let's sits go. over this picture. He says HD Bates, the bait that lasts. I think he's taking a shot over the bow at Kai Tech. Let's the go. bait that Get lasts. It. He's support our small business. I agree with that. Check out HD Bates. He's a sponsor of Spotty Bowl. Longest spotty on an HD Bates wins three and four inch HD Bates kit. I think that's 24 paddle tails. Dang, Wyatt again, man, dude. It's a Brian Rosin of San Diego pulling in uh, with an HD base. Looks like he got it on the A rig. And he's pulling in, what is that? 14.5 inch. Congratulations, Wyatt. Wyatt is cleaning up this Very week. Nice. Congratulations on that, Wyatt. Uh, vacant still. And that, that, by the way, is that every, I think, yeah, I think this is every week too. By the way, the uh, longest halibut still vacant on that. Keep fishing that thing on the A rig, and I oh, guarantee yeah. you later you're going to come across a halibut. Uh, smallest spotty. This is your category. I'll let you do this one. Let's go. Smallest spotty. Smallest spotty caught on a CBN bait will win 25 bucks and one pack of Ned rigs and one pack of swim baits. Uh, is this the same from last week? Yep. Uh, from last time, Eric the Judge with a nine inch spotty is leading the pack. There it is. What is that bait? What do you call that again? Ned rig. <laughs> is that like a two inch bait, or is that just the Best size of that hand? Rig. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's like an eight. That's like an eight Aren't inch bait. Aren't there giant fishing out there? It's like an eight inch bait right there. <laughs> and a seventeen inch fish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fifty dollar uh, hookup baits prize package. If you won your division and included two pitchers. With hookup baits in the pitcher and win your division, you will be winning a $50 hookup baits prize package that will be given to you at the award ceremony. I will, If somebody has won this, I will announce it when I announce the winners. Uh, another shout-out. We got Chad sent me this right here. Wow, Chad, what is if this? You guys are free to, <laughs> if you guys are free tomorrow night, Thursday night, April 18th at 5.30 to 7, Chad is going to be up at the San Marcos Turners doing a saltwater bass seminar so that's if you want to go cool. up there you spotty bowlers and talk to a guy that's won it and he knows he's been he's one of the best saltwater anglers i know uh go up there and his seminars are pretty cool me and roman have been to a bunch of them and he just he's an open book on uh, you know how to catch spotties and what to do so go check out his seminar tomorrow night it says seating is limited but i'm sure if you say you're a spotty bowler you'll get a vip seat yep. right T tom <laughs> tom we sent you and they'll make us sit in the back <laughs> <laughs> so go check out Sam Marcos tomorrow night. Turner's outdoors. Go say hi to Chad. Tell him you're in Spotty Bowl and tell him what's up from Roman and Brian. That's cool. Uh, like cool baits. Uh, Hundred dollar cool Jeez. bait prize package. I know. Twenty four seven. I finally fixed that. You can fish this twenty four seven anywhere. I don't care where you fish. You can fish anywhere as long as it's a spotty calico or sand bass. I don't care where you fish. Uh, include the code CB24. So if you're out on like a half day boat or just offshore, whatever, you're in the bays, randomly come across a fish on your cool bait, include that code right there, and you could win a hundred dollars in cool baits of your choice. Danny Martinez, it's like he's on his jet ski right there, 20.25. See if that, see if that bits, see if that, see, maybe somebody will beat that. We'll see. That's 20, cool. pretty good, but That's I think it's nice beat. $100 trifecta. It's another, uh, so if you don't know what a trifecta is, it's the calico sand bass spotty combo. You catch all three in one session, and That's that is the one. longest. You add up all three, and the longest will win $100. Longest trifecta. 
This is from 6 a.m. Friday to 8 p.m. Sunday. Every tournament weekend. Just use the regular code, it looks like. And Steve, Chum Solo, what's up? Still leading it. It's pretty good. 42. Catch a a Dorian. I think... um, Spot or Salty won this last year, didn't he? Didn't you win this last year, Salty, with 48 inches? Yeah, this is a good bag right here. Uh, real happy. Check out that sweater. Everybody knows that sweater. We saw that thing up at uh, the PCS show walking around. I'm like, eh, it's a cool sweater. I actually saw somebody fishing with that thing too the other day. Nice. But August Spotty, uh, well, if you include the code Jeez. RH24, remember, you need to include that code right there. If because it's separate. You can't use your normal uh, spotty ball code. You have to remember that code in this particular side pot. And you're going to win 50 bucks to spend at Real Happy, which everybody's probably going to get that sweater. But Chris, 17-inch, dang, I don't know. That's so nice. There's, some, there's, a, there's been some bigger fish caught, but that's good. And you know what? That's another 17-inch fish caught in Mission Bay this weekend. Wow. Let's get it up for Mission Bay. Let's go here. I got you. Mission Bay. Let's reminisce, Roman. What's your best memory of Mission Bay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, ne- next up, Longest Sandbass, also from Real Happy. Daniel Jones. Of course, Daniel Jones get that. He won the uh, in the kayak division. He won the OBB, the uh, Bay Bass, San Diego Anglers Club Bay Bass Open this year. Daniel, Our very own Daniel Jones. Caught a 17.5. Maybe if somebody cruises around, you know, they might be able to beat that 24 seven fish that RH 24. Don't forget that code. Only code accepted. Congratulations, Daniel. Very cool. Uh, okay, here we go. So the last prize we give away on shout outs is, the oh, yeah. and this is the fast lane kayak center. If you guys have never visited fast lane kayak center, it's right there. At Dana go in there, talk to Logan, tell him Brian and Roman sent you. Last time I went in there, I, I don't know what happened. I wa- ended up walking out with another kayak. And they, and they only charge them double. Let them know, <laughs> that, we, no, let them know that we sent you and they'll charge you double. <laughs> yeah. We got the reverse <laughs> discount. <laughs> <laughs> but just going in there is like, you know, when you go to the Costco Tire Center and it has that like nice new tire smell, that mm-hmm. is the same feeling you get when you walk into Fastlane. It's got that nice new smell. Kayak. I want to say the Costco Tire Center, dude. That's something. Di- I mean, because you got to get tires, you kind of don't. You're not excited about getting tires because tires are expensive. Some people are. Let's say. Let's say more like. Um, yeah. Like like Here when you're go. a kid. When you're a kid, and it's the first time you went to like Toys R Us or like KB Toy Store. You know, like when you walk in there, you're like, wow. Okay. This place is for yeah. me. That's what I'm talking about. That's what fast lane feels like. Or when you're driving down the 78, in and out, it's got that grease pumping out the top of their building. You <laughs> smell that as you drive by. You're like, what? I got to pull in. <laughs> anyway, fast lane kayak center. Check it out. Here's an interior picture of them. See this four seater up here? I'm going to ask Logan if we can borrow that one day as oh, a group and nice. go out and spotty slain on that thing. That thing's pretty <laughs> sweet. Four pedal drives on that thing. What can we do? Maybe pickle run. Pickle oh, run. No. You die. What's, how's it sound? I'll sit here, hey, salty. With the judge, four, you all on that baby. With four What's people, middle, with four people paddling on that thing, it probably moves, dude. Yeah, pickle run, Logan. We're gonna come pick that thing up for the pickle run, October. <laughs> uh, check it out though; it's got everything for your kayak needs. That's Logan right, right there. Go in, say hi. Check it out; they got spotty bull shirt, spotty t-shirts, or the collab with uh, Salty Crew too, which are awesome. All right, here we go, and the winner. Drum roll, please. The fast lane kayak package is Luke. Let's go, Luke. Congratulations. Wow. 17.75. Luke, you have won a Yak Attack flag light combo, a Hobie manual inflatable life vest, a Hobie mini bin track mount, fish grips, and a Salte Crew collab fish fast lane teacher congratulations estimated retail value 295 bucks you've made your to your uh your money back that you paid to participate that's freaking awesome that wow. is awesome i'm sure he'll use all that stuff right there that is cool just go in talk to logan i'm luke and i'm here to get my prize yeah, you we'll can... let logan know you're coming congratulations on that luke that's very a... cool thank you so much for fat guys support fast lane they're a great shop family owned they've been here forever yeah uh, go in there and just check it out. Thank you, Fastlane, for donating a prize package like that every single San Diego round. We appreciate awesome. you. 
That's so good. Oh yeah, are we ready for some bolts? But what, wait, one more, one more thing on this. Like you can only win the fast lane pa- prize pack once a season. So now Luke can't win it again, even if he does end up getting the longest body for that session. It's going for somebody else next time. Okay? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> I'm gonna this room. Okay, we're gonna right. go and now we're gonna get to some results all right we're gonna get to some results but first i see 52 people watching only 32 likes i mean it's not it's not you don't have to say you like me it's that you like the stream okay just like the stream <laughs> <laughs> like for the judge like for the judge L- like for the judge's effort in getting all these tallies done he was up to like 1 a.m no, he fell asleep at like 10.30 last night. I think he fell asleep like with his face down on his laptop. Oh, my God. Well, I was talking to him like, Judge, are you alive? Are you alive? What's going on over there? Oh, There's no. no response. Oh, no. It's a on. lot of work. Cool. Anyway, let's get these results done. Ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Are All we right. Doing so this weekend we fish round five. That leaves us two rounds left, guys. Round five, Mission Bay, which was kind of a tough go. Mission Bay can be that way. But uh, once you learn Mission Bay, you'll learn to love her. All right. Shore Division up first. We had 20 people. Shore Division is big this year. Shore Division is tough this oh, year. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, guys, right when I'm done showing, giving you all the results from all this, we're going to go right, and I'm going to show off where you guys st- stand in the playoff standings. So get ready for that, too. That's right after this. Going to see where the playoff standings are. This just in, breaking news. The judge is going to give you a one-inch deduction if you don't like the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. There you go. We'll That's give you a so one-inch uh, positive, too, is if you leave a comment after the show. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so there's a way to win, too. Okay, uh, so we had 20 anglers fish shore division this year. It's awesome division. I love shore division. It's probably my favorite. If you guys ever think about entering Spotty Bowl, I, I, I fish both shore and masters in shore division. It's so much fun. It's it's just try it, guys. If you've never fished spotties from shore, I do like fishing them that way. You can really get into some cool spots and walk around, get some exercise. Just watch out for those dogs. All right, coming in. Uh, I'm gonna let's see. We got a tie for t- for 13th place. Chuck, Corey, Zach, Brady, Alex, Daryl, Jeff, and Keaton. Sorry, that's your mulligans. Get them out of the way. That was a tie for 13th place. All right, coming in 12th place. With 11.25, we got Zachary Riggs. What's up, Zach? Oh, Coming cool. in 11th with 35 inches even. We got just Jason Rust coming in 10th place with 52.75. The champ himself, Alex Norton. That's going to be his mulligan, I guarantee it. Uh, coming in 9th place, we got Ricky with 54.5. Coming in 8th place with 59.25, we got Eric the Judge who never caught a spotty from shore until he entered spotty bowl, by the way, guys. And look, at he's pulling in almost 60-inch bags from shore now. Go go, judge. He's figuring it out. He's figuring it out. Watch out. Watch out for judge in the playoffs if he makes it in there. Uh, Coming in seventh place with 61.5, we got Aaron Endicott. Coming in sixth place with 63.25, he's in chat. Oliver SD Fishing. Let's go, Oliver. Another person. Who's figuring it out? He's got a first place in shore this year. He got a 73 inch bag in this. So, Oliver, we also do appreciate all you do on Instagram for Spotty Bowl. I've noticed that. That is cool. Thank you so much for doing all that, Oliver. We appreciate that. All right, top five. Coming in fifth in fifth place with 64.5. We got Danny Hernandez, top five. Coming in fourth place. With 66.25, we got Derek. Let's go, Derek. Fourth place. That's a good bag right there. 66 from Shore is awesome. All right, top three. You ready, Roman? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get a link for uh, Oliver's channel. Here we go. Come on, go, go, go follow Oliver's channel, guys. I just put it in the chat. All right, ready? Go. go for it. All right, top three, Shore Division, round five. Coming in third place with 68.25. <laughs> Lee Gill, congratulations, Lee. Shore Slayer right there. Congratulations, third place. That's good. Good job, Lee. Top two people both broke the spotty barrier, by the way, oh, yeah. which is hard to do from shore. Yeah. Seems like a lot of people are doing it this year, but hard to do from shore. Okay. Sorry about that. Coming in second place. Oh, I'm so sorry. With 80, with 72.5, we got Andy Cochran. Congratulations, Andy. That's a huge bag. Is that your PB bag? I think that is. Very Congratulations nice. for that. That is an awesome bag. Keep it up, Andy. Andy's really coming around, man. He's learned how to 
He's figured it out to throw a 72 inch bag out. That is amazing. And coming in first. <laughs> With 73.25. That would be me. Brian likes to fish. 73.25. Thank you, Roman. Thank you for those yeah, applause. Yeah, yeah. That's good. <laughs> Come on, man. That's nice job. Nice job, Brian. Nice Thank job. you. Appreciate that. Yeah. 73.25, first place. I will take it. Uh, it's, so cool. it's really weird announcing your own position, by the way. Just saying. But I, know, I, try, I try it, to make it extra I'll, awkward for you. I, I can try. really get crazy here if you want. Let's go. 73.25. First place. Let's go. <laughs> That's how you do it, Roman. That's what you're supposed to do for me. This Not guy. <laughs> yeah. You know, what has one eye, two thumbs, and came in first place? This guy. <laughs> All right. Let's move on here. Uh, weekend Warrior Division. Man, these guys are slaying in Weekend Warriors. This is this is a huge group, too. It looks like we had, like, uh, 27 people. Am I wrong, Judge? 27 people. Weekend Warrior. Huge division. Uh, we had a tie for 17th place. Dan, Colton, Tyler, Caleb, Kyle, John, wow. Dominic, George, and Ken. Let's just forget about that round. You guys are on San Diego Bay. You'll move on. Let's get out of there. Let's keep on trucking, all right? Coming in 16th place. With 10.5 inches, we got Isaac coming in 15th place. With 25.5, we got down an SD Roy. Let's yeah. go, Let's go Roy. It doesn't affect his playoff position. Last week was right on the bubble. Roy, we need some big rounds out of you. We want you to make playoffs this year. All right. Roy's an OG slayer, by the way. Uh, 14th place with 34 inches even. We got James, 13th place with 42.75. We got Matt Bershaw, 12th place with 44.75. We got Garrett in 11th place with 57.75. We got Juan in 10th place with 57.75. We got David Dalton in 9th place with 60.25. We got Andy in oh. eighth place with 60.5, we got Lars Erickson. In seventh place with 61.25, we got Bryce Huffman. In sixth place with 62.75, we got Derek. Okay, top five. You ready? Yes. You guys are in Weekend Warriors. You didn't hear your name. Guess what? You made top five, and you want to try to stick, keep in that top eight. To keep yourself in a playoff position. So, all right, coming in fifth place with 63 inches even. We got Jeff Morton. Congratulations, Jeff. What's I think up, that Jeff? might be Jeff's best spot. Congratulations on that, Jeff. A top five. Good job. Man, you're so close to the fourth, too. Coming in fourth place with 63.25, just that much more, is Matthew West. I think oh, that's his best God. showing, too. Congratulations, Matthew. This guy's no Mission Bay, I guess. Congratulations, fourth place. All right, top three. Coming in third place with 67.5. We've got Ralph Rodriguez. Wreck it, Ralph. Let's go, Ralph. What's up, Ralph? Place. Coming in second place with 67.5. Let me tell you, Mission Bay was a tough go. That's a good score right there. With 67.75, we got Jim Russo, second place. Let's go, Jim. Doing great this year, Jim. Congratulations. Yeah. All right, here we go. Weekend Warrior broke the spotty barrier. Mission Bay, round five, coming in first place with 71.25. We've got Chris Cabanella. Let's go, Chris. First place at your first first of your chat. Congratulations, That's Chris. awesome. So 71.25 in Weekend Warriors. That is a huge score for this weekend. Let me tell you, yeah. Mission Bay was rough. And just ask Salty Dangler. Mission Bay was rough. So congratulations on that, Chris. Pulling out that you will be getting a plaque for first place for that. So congratulations. Everybody that wins first place could get a plaque for winning a round of spotty. And it's not easy to win spotty bowl. Let me just tell you. That's awesome. When you said salty, it reminded me of his comment to, to Doug. His quick, fix, his, his quick fix was open a window. <laughs> <laughs> salty, Daniel. What are you doing, Salty? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm salty in the month. So good. I mean, it's it's a quick fix. Yeah. That works. There you go. Advice from Salty. What? Remember when we used to do a segment called What Grinds Salty's Gears? <laughs> and I, I would... 
I would show like bent swim baits and rigging stuff. We should, all we should bring that back. We should bring that back. <laughs> Next Friday week we're doing that, and we're doing movie reviews. It's gonna be a blast. <laughs> you know what? You know what else has happened this week? You ever, uh, you ever go back to your childhood house? Like no. I went back to my childhood house this week, and I went there actually today, and I asked if I could come inside, but they slammed the door right on my face. Man, my parents are the worst. I swear. That's so I good. Was it? I mean, man, another horrible thing happened today. You know, my girlfriend keeps accusing me of cheating. And now she's starting to sound just like my wife. <laughs> That's so bad. Maybe I'll come to Chad's seminar and do a few jokes. Am I allowed to do you, that there, you Chad? Should, you should. You should do like, you should try to do like uh, jokes. Maybe my first. My first stand up like joke. Yeah, your first stand up just go like straight out of turn. straight like relentless dad jokes for like five <laughs> minutes. For like five minutes between people uh presenting. You know? Yeah. Well, why, really... every time Chad pauses, I'll say one in the audience. <laughs> run run up there, grab the mic, say a joke, and this then is just, a, like, this leave. is a joke I'm gonna open with. <laughs> what did the bra say to the hat? You go on ahead, I'm gonna give these two a lift. That was multidimensional. <laughs> threw away the results. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, okay. sorry guys, we're getting back on track. Let's go results, results. Uh, pro division, we had 29 people enter <laughs> into the pro division. Uh, we had a tie for 24th. Luke, I think Luke Heyman may be moving away. I think oh, I saw gosh. that in chat. No way. <laughs> chat says yeah. Luke Heyman, I think, is moving, and he's a he's a good spotty bowler. So Luke, if you're watching. Wherever you're going, I hope they have spotties. Hope they have a nice fish for you to catch. There Lots of go. them. Spotties is what I'm hoping for. Uh, Luke, Jose, Joey, Dylan, Logan, get that out of your way. Coming in 23rd place with 10.25. Drew Bassett coming. Oh, here we go. Coming in 22nd place with 37.25. We got Michael Solzano. Solzano. Michael Solzano in the house. Let's go. Coming in, coming in 21st place, Thomas Warren, 42.75. Coming in 20th place, he is angry with 45.25, and that's Dave Rage. Raging. Coming, <laughs> coming in 19th place with 51 even, Daniel Jones. Wow. See, these are the big hitters down at the bottom right. of this. I like it. 18th place, 61.75, Quentin Miller. 17th place, has this guy even ever got 17th place? 62.75, Jared Bretch. That's what? his mulligan. Yeah, I know. 16th place with 63.5, we got Eric Klein. Let's go, Eric. That's Cobra. You remember that time we went snorkeling with Eric? Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. Uh, coming in 15th place with Char is Charlie with 63.75. Let's go, Charlie. Coming in 14th place with 64 even. We got Juan Delgado. Let's go, Juan. That's pretty good, actually. That, uh, that was good. Uh, that was good, Brian. That was a good one. Thank you. 64.75. We got Adrian. Look at this. Peter, 86. 64.7 tied. Tied for 12th. Peter, 12th <laughs> place. Has that ever happened? That's, Stop the presses. That doesn't make sense. I don't think that guy's ever got less than top five. Does not compute. Got a mind on something else is what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what? Coming in 11th place with 65.5, we got Dale Shaw. What's up, Dale? Team Hookup Bates. Coming in 10th place with 65.75, we got Terry. Coming in 9th place with 66 even, we got Joshua. Here we go. Here's the big hitter coming in. Taking out Dale. 8th place, 66 inches even. The most famous man in Spotty Bowl. Let's go, Frank Santiago. Let's go, Frank. Give me the keychain. 8th <laughs> place. Showing Dale what's up. <laughs> uh, coming in seventh place, coming down from OC with the 66 inch bag. We got Cash Brett. What's up, Cash? Nice. All right, man, coming in sixth place with 66.75, Fishing Shore and Pro Division. Andy mm. Cochran with a 66.75. Nice bag there, Andy. Andy. Coming in fifth place with 69.75, we got Derwin Chang. Oh, Derwin, nice. Dude. Almost just that close to the spotty barrier. 
Coming in fourth place with 70 inches even. Here we go. Everybody from here on has broke the spotty barrier. We got Daryl Sanders. Congratulations, Daryl. Wow. Fourth place. That's good. Here we go. Start, All right, start top three. Here we go. Here we go. Top three. Woo, these bags are huge. Third place with 73 inches even. Setting all kinds of side pots also. We got Wyatt. Let's go, Wyatt. Third place. Nice job, Wyatt. And, and winning like what? Three side pots or leading yeah, three good. side pots? Nice you, job, Wyatt. You paid for the you paid for the tournament. Take advantage of all the options. Do it. Let's do it. All right. Coming in second place. Just barely squeezing out Wyatt with a 73.25 certified slayer. Kevin Canoy. Let's go, Kevin. Congratulations. 73.25. <laughs> what a slow day. <laughs> Dale, let's not get excited in there. <laughs> don't make don't make Le Leonard come after you in the moderator. <laughs> Dale said bologna sandwiches. <laughs> let's so just funny. say Dale said. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, sometimes Frank come, brings it out, man. When Frank turns it on, you better watch out. All right. Hold real quick. Go. Oh, no, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's do this. Mission Bay, round five, Spotty Bowl, coming in first place, catching the biggest fish of the season during this round with a 74.75. Oh, we got Luke Illa Jr. Congratulations, Luke. You did it. First place. He deserved yeah. that. That fish is huge, too. That's so cool. Very nice. Not, you know, one big fish doesn't get you a 74-inch bag. Luke must sure. have had an amazing day. Hang in after this because he's going to be on PB Shoutouts telling you where, how, and what he got that fish on. Everything you need to know about that 1775. Congratulations, Luke. First place. Is that your first first, Luke? Congratulations on that. All right, let's move on to the Masters division. You ready? Before we start the Masters, I need to, I need to cover something. The judge said he could get – that he knows somebody that – he said something like Brian's – no, not Brian uh, – Brady's mom has a comedy club in San Diego or something like that. Oh my gosh. So he said he could get you in. So here's my idea. We get you in. Oh boy. You do just straight dad jokes for five minutes straight and we all oh. show up to <laughs> support not. you. MFC outing. That's Brian's not. debut get... stand up comedy. <laughs> Hit me in the chat. Let me know if you want to do it. Who would uh, show up? Who would show up if Brian did dad jokes for straight five minutes? Nobody. Not okay, 100%. Me. Everybody's like, yeah, it's going to happen, Brian. We're going to do it. Yeah, I could bust out, you know, the other day. <laughs> First of all, I would need Ken there because Ken's what would get the room right. Oh, Ken up. would go. We'd have Ken. to have, we, uh, I, I, I don't know if Kevin, I don't know if Ken <laughs> could survive five minutes of straight dad jokes, dude. <laughs> it's too much. Well, the other day, I bought a, <laughs> just got this brand new sweater the other day. But it was full of static electricity, Roman. So I returned it. But he gave me another one free of charge. Boom. Hey. See? That's gold right and there, Jim, ladies and gentlemen. Guy. I'm going to need a lot of booze in that building. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's do, let's do the. I think I need to start out with Turner's. We'll, we'll, we'll have a better. We'll, we'll probably have a better uh, attendance for that than like the No Sky Session. <laughs> oh, <come> on. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Here we All go. Right, Masters Division. We had 16 people fish. Jeff, Dario, Justin, Salty, Dangler, what? Chuck, and Dino. What? <laughs> Get that out of the way. That's obviously a mulligan for those guys. They all tied for 11th place. But Dino, Jig Jig Pow? What? What? Am I in the right universe? Anyway. There's your mulligan. Get it out of the way. Coming in 10th place, we've got Steve with 36.75. Coming in 7th place, the one and only, the Judge with 51.5. Congratulations, Very Judge. Nice. See how he's doing in the playoff position, Very by nice. the way. Coming in 8th place with 52 inches even, Michael Taylor. What's up, Michael? I was in a random, I was at East County Bait and Tackle, and I look over, and there's Michael standing there. I got to chat with Michael for a while. Cool. Told me all the Dobo secrets, every one of them. <laughs> I sat there and picked it, every secret I could out of them. He works with Adobo, by the way. That's so cool. Thank you for all that information, Michael. Now I'm finally going to start winning here. Uh, coming in 7th place with 54.25, we got Daniel. A coming in 6th place. With 64.75, we got Daniel Martinez. Got big news about Daniel Martinez and PB shoutouts. Hang oh, in. There we go. 
Coming in fifth place with 67.75, we got Chad, the one and only hookup Bates, Let's coming in fifth go. place. That'll probably be his mulligan, I bet. And by the way, Chad had a he had a two inch deduction because he pulled. Are we going to call this now the Davy Brown? Got his fish in late. Got his fish no. in like one minute late, 801 or 101. I'm not sure, but man. <sighs> Ooh, Guys, quick story. This The judge is firm, but he's fair. Okay. <laughs> Salty dang. Sometimes it, I don't think it was a matter of submitting it. It's he hooked up at like 7.59. I know this happened to Salty oh, Dang. Oh, dang. You, yeah. You're like, okay, last cast, last cast. You're pushing a limit. You're at 7.58. You're at 7.59. You're like, oh, okay. And Salty Dangler once hooked into a fish at like a minute before it and he, he mus muscled it so hard he broke his rod in half. <gasps> Bounced the fish in there, try to measure it quickly. And Salty, did you get that in in time? I think he didn't even get the fish in time. Still got the, the fish disqualified, goes out, and broke a rod trying to muscle it in. Ah, uh, sucks. I don't know. But, hey, fish to the end. You never know. A lot of times you get that fish in the last minutes for some reason. All right, coming in fourth place with 68.5, we got the one and only Bruce Adobo. Oh, let's, let's go, go. Bruce. 68. All right, top three. In third place with 69.25. Actually, this is the Danny Martinez I was talking about. Danny Martinez. Let's go, Danny. 69.25. Not fishing from a jet ski anymore, I don't think. I think I see him out there on a kayak, maybe. Okay. Let's go, okay. Danny Martinez. 69. Upgrade, upgrade definitely. Two yep. five. He upgraded to a kayak. Nice. <laughs> is that an upgrade? Yeah, of course. I, you know, I think he fishes both because right. he got the Cool Baits prize package on that. All right, top two people. This guy's in chat. One of these guys. There's only two people left. We when, know when, he really wants to, when, when he really wants to impress the chicks, he takes out the kayak, though. What? <laughs> <laughs> Better get a two-seater. <laughs> Coming in second place. Breaking the spotty barrier. This guy's having a phenomenal season. With 70.25, <laughs> we've got Steven Cage. Congratulations, Steven. You're oh, having a great go. year. Way to break the spotty barrier. Is that the best you finished, Steven? I'm, congratulations on that. Awesome, awesome round. Mission Bay was rough. He, he also upgraded from a, like a skiff to a kayak. Just yeah, he used to have that uh, yeah. one, that like oversized kayak pickle with boat, the outboard yeah. on it. The yeah. Pickle Run Special. Yeah, pickle run, yep. that was a Pickle Run Special for sure. Okay, here we go. Coming in first place... Oh, gosh, <laughs> getting hit. Coming oh. in, Masters Division, Mission Bay, round five, coming in first place with 70.75. That would be me, Brian Lux, the fish. Let's go. Nice job, Brian. That's awesome. 70? 70? Yeah. Sorry, getting that a little crazy over here. 70. Yeah, set, the double dub. I'll it was. It. It, seems it. it seems like it was difficult. It was. It was. 70 is like the winner, yeah. Lawyer guy. Yeah. You had to pull out that that 17 fish. Thank you, Garrett. I appreciate that. Thank you, Salty Dangler. I saw Thank this. And I, I saw this, and I want to mention it before. We... or cheering. That's what yeah, I want to know. Exactly. I saw this, and I want to mention it before we keep going. Uh, Benji, he said, we are uh, just launched the boat. We're about to do a night session on Lake Mojave. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Striper I know you can do night sessions there. That's very cool. You know, a lot of time, Roman, people ask me, like, how are you constantly winning? What is going on? Why are you winning all this? And you mind if I give a little tip here? Go for it. <laughs> yeah, I did do better for sure, Eric. Uh, so you start out your night, right? Yeah, I'm going to just save this for another night just because we're going long. Yeah, okay, we're going okay, to go, okay. go right. <laughs> I'll, uh, we'll tell you guys next Wednesday. Make sure you come back. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I'm going to go to my screen share, Roman. I'm going to show the playoff standings real quick. Oh, yes, that's right. I like it. Meanwhile, while Brian gets a screen, while Brian gets a screen set up, um, do me a favor, hit that like button if you haven't already. And here it is. I did have a hilarious story lined up. Oh, wait, you're, you're gonna tell a hilarious story next Wednesday. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so same so same bat channel, same, same bat time. time. Spotty bowl. The goal is to get to the top eight and each round and maintain in that top eight position. That way you can make it to the playoffs where you fish head head on one-on-one on one versus one. What do you call that? One versus one in a playoff. One v one me, bro. Winner moves on. Okay, sh short division right here. You can check it out right on the bubble right there. Is the judge is right below the line. Top seven people from the short division will be moving on to playoffs. We've got two rounds left. Nobody give up. You never know. Keep fishing strong right there. 
the person that gets first place in the division will also get Angler of the Year. They'll get a plaque that so says Angler of the Year right there. So, Judge, it's you and Oliver and Chuck. It's close. Look at those oh, scores wow. right there. All within a few inches right there. So, Oliver, Judge, Chuck, Aaron, everybody fish hard. Make that last playoff position right there. Also, you, Derek, Danny. It's up for the grabs right there. That's close. The judge uh, said mano a mano. <laughs> weekend Warrior Division, top eight in Weekend Warrior Division, make it. I'm going to show this slide kind of slow so you guys have a chance to see your name and where you stand at. If you're above the red line, you're currently in a playoff position. But if you're below it, doesn't mean you're out. You just need to try Roy. Let's go, Roy. We're all cheering for Roy here. He's, he's two down. Roy, we need a big oh, round out dude. of you. We yeah. need a big round out of you, Roy. What do you need, Roy? Let me know. Come on, yeah. Roy. Let's go. Yeah. It's <laughs> Roy's been Show moving up. Host, Roy. It'd be awesome to see Roy in playoffs. I don't have anything against Jeff or Bryce. No. But Roy's my man. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Russo leading it, man. Jim's having a great year right there. 334 total inches for the year. And if you look on the far right, that blue column right there is your mulligan eliminated. And that's how this is lined up. Oh, okay. It's not the total score. We've eliminated your worst round. The round that's highlighted in the yellow is your worst round, and that has been eliminated from your score. So look over the mulligan category, and that is where you stand. And that's how you're lucky. Everybody gets one mulligan. Weekend Warriors. Here we go. Pro division. We have a lead change in the pro division. Peter, man. Oh, what? yeah. Peter, Yeah, Peter slipped down one spot, and Dang. Luke slid into the angler of the year position. There's still two rounds left. Those two guys are going to battle it out, I think, for that position right there. Because Thomas is right there, too. Oh, wow, dude. That's great. Look at, look at the scores for that. Derwin's Derwin. in there, too. Yep, Cash. All the way down, like, geez, almost all the way to the bottom is only a 10-inch difference, right? Yeah, 10 inches from eighth place to first place. So fish hard, guys. Go for that angler year. Go for that playoff position, right? Daniel Jones, you're on the bubble. Jared, make it worth your time coming down. You got to fish hard. Yeah, that's wild. All right, Masters Division right here. Bruce Adobo up on top, Angler of the Year right there. Bruce, I'm coming for you, buddy. That's all I got to say. Bruce is up on top right there. Chad coming in third. Look at who is sitting in sweet number four position right there. Would everybody zoom in, look at that? Tell me that name. Chad? Right under Chad. Oh, Eric. Yeah, let's go, Judge. Judge is in <laughs> mid pack playoffs. Let's go, Judge. Well, I know he's well. He's in there, dude. He's well in there. He is well in wow. there. Wow. Let's go. Oh, look, Chuck's I holding know. on. Chuck, Salty Dangler, you have a pretty good round. You're dip down a little bit, but Salty Dangler come back. I have confidence. And watch Salty Dangler throw a 75 and a 78 salty? for the last two. Crews in there, easy. I don't see Salty okay. in there. Oh, this, this is last year's, this is last year's Dan. playoff That's his name, Salty, bro. Just in case you guys uh, are new to Spotty Bowl, this is kind of how it works. The number five seed, you can see Salty Dangler and Adobo, five versus four, three versus six, one versus eight, and number two seed versus the number seven seed. And it gets eliminated, goes to the next round, and then there's a final round, which is on the awards day, and we've crowned a champion, which that year was Alex Norton. Congratulations, Alex. But that is how the playoffs work. So with that, I'm going to exit my screen share, Roman, That's before so I lose cool. my voice here. And I am going to... That's awesome. Go right. PB shout outs. Oh, we're going to PB shout outs already? All right, let me go co host split. Here we go. Uh, just a PB shout out music. Hang in there, guys. We got Spyble Biggins coming in after this, too. I am ready whenever you are. Actually, hold on one sec. Now. We've seen you out on the water. They say you're fishing harder. I guess we'll find out this week on our P P shout out. Oh, I just noticed Captain Adobo is in chat. What's up, Adobo? FYI, uh, not assuming anything at this point. If I make playoffs this year, I cannot fish. No, I'm going to Hawaii. I don't give. Oh so don't give gosh. us. Okay, if. This year we we had we had a situation similar to this last year, and um, we decided this year that if you can't fish, just let us know, and your spot will go to the next seed. You gotta ask a judge on that. Yeah, I'm not sure what the it's final. No, decision that's what we that. agreed upon. Cause th last time it was weird, like uh, yeah, your spot just goes to the next uh, the next seed. So, Dobo's oh, gonna make it. Man. 
You're not going to Hawaii to do it. What's there? There's no spotties in Hawaii. <laughs> All right. If you didn't know that as Cal up front, double fisting. What's up, Cal? Cal in chat. I haven't seen him for a while. I really check in on Cal. Is, is he unsupervised? Last I heard, he was up at like some hotel I think we need, swimming pool. I think we the, need to redo this what? thumbnail. <laughs> That's Cal up front. If you want to be on PB shoutouts and me, Brian likes to fish a picture of anything. I prefer Discord, but you can send it to me on Instagram too. Send me your boat. Send me your kayak. Send me, I don't care. You know, you recently went to Disneyland and rode a new ride. Just send me a picture. Get you on PB shoutouts. Here we go. First up. See, this community is so news. good. Oh, wow. Exciting Fat. news. I, okay. So if you guys don't know, the One Bass Open is a huge event up at Clear Lake right now. It's a series. And uh, it's, you know, it's a pro bass angling. It's largemouth bass. And uh, one of our spotty bowlers is entering it this year as a, as a triple a and he went up there and I was watching this live today on YouTube while I was setting up for the show. And I see this guy walk up onto the stage to weigh his fish. And if you don't know who that is, that is Danny, Daniel Martinez. Guess what? In the one bass open today, this guy weighed in a 9.3 pound cool. large mouth, a very own spotty bowler, Daniel Martinez. That could be big bass of the tournament, which means big money. Let's go, Daniel. Congratulations. Oh, cool. Holy smokes. It looks, like a, it looks like a mailbox, dude. <laughs> that to catch a nine pound plus bass in a bass tournament is amazing. Oh, and you know what's even more amazing is he's up there at Clear Lake and look at the shirt he's wearing representing Spotty <laughs> Bull in, in the one bass open. Let's go. No, that's a Salty Crew shirt. <laughs> he's got his fast lane Spotty shirt on. Yeah, good luck shirt, man. So oh, everybody awesome. give a big congratulations. He's still got two more days to fish in that tournament, but we're hoping he does very well. And uh, it was so weird. Like, this is my this is me watching the live stream, and I took a bunch of pictures and sent it up to him. He, so he's super stoked. That's him fun. and his partner did very well. So let's go, everybody. Cheer on Danny. Let's see how he does. If you want to check it out, go to the One Bass Open, and we can follow to see how Danny does in the next two days. Let's hope that fish holds out. I'm not sure if it was biggest biggest fish of the tournament yet, but geez, nine pounder. I'd imagine it is. All right. It's not epic. Next up, if you don't know who that is, that's Luke Jr. What's up, let's Luke? Go. Catch not quite the Danny Martinez largemouth, but hey, it's a largemouth. So uh, Luke says. Here it is. So this is that 17-inch fish, biggest fish of Spotty Bull so far caught. He says, this was my second of five fish. He only caught five fish for the whole day, and he won on those five fish. So you caught the right five. He said, caught it on a Feeks Feather, a Daiwa Ballistic MQ, 20-pound braid, 12-pound floral. He said that big 17 had a subtle tick at first, but then he set the hook, and then it ran between two docks and a boat. I was able to pull that thing in, and I screamed like a little girl when I measured it. <laughs> I have seen, personally have heard that scream and seen this exact scenario go down. I, I was witness of somebody catching a fish like that. I don't know. I forgot his name, but he screamed like that too, Luke. I think that's the uh, 17, 75, 18 inch scream that you get. He says, uh, to say at least, I was excited. This is my PB spotty. It was a tough grind all session, but I'd rather be lucky than good. Congratulations, first place, That's biggest awesome. spotty. That thing is amazing. He did not have a scale, so he did not get to measure it or weigh it, though. I wonder, I'm going to guess 2.9. What do you think? Wow, oh, man. Salty's was 18, and it was just a hair over three. What? I'm guessing 2.9 on that. My 17.75 was at right around three so i'm guessing right around three pounds maybe um, what do you think i don't know I, I, based on my recent experiences i, I have my my i don't know it's just doesn't make sense that so, is a nice fish right there congratulations luke sometimes that's once in a lifetime dude you don't catch a fish like that every day super cool next up this guy let's so go got, fresh fresh ink about. son <laughs> You guys have heard me talk about Doug cruising around on his adventure bike. You know, I always see him around town. If you see him on that, he's got like two bright yellow lights when he's cruising down the road. That's how I always know it's him. And he's got like that yak attack box on the back of his motorcycle. <laughs> that's Doug right there. That's El Sueño. A, that's a sweet know, sleeves. He, yeah. <laughs> that's that's awesome. man. Uh, he's on his 2021 BMW GSA adventure bike. And he wanted to show this. Bam. Oh, you yeah. Your sponsors, Doug. Dang. He also, he also runs El Sueño. 
That's his boat. Yeah, it says he says quick trip out to the lower nine bank for some tasty rockfish. I got a he got if you look at the floor right here, this is what he's showing off right oh, here. Oh yeah. There's an electric reel. That's a good idea. Bam. Look at the flooring he just got installed on his boat. He says quick trip out or uh he says he got I got my new gator step deck done last week. Feels great and it's amazing on my back. I can't oh. wait to see you guys on the water. Yeah, it's like a cushy Oh, it's also on there. Oh, nice. It also looks like it's on the rail on the side. So when you put your your thigh yeah. against it, that's cool. Yeah. Looks Gator. Great. Gator don't play no. <laughs> so <laughs> saving your back, saving your feet out on the water and looking good. That looks really good. Thanks for sending that in. That's Doug El Sueño's boat cruising up in his bike too, man. All right, next up. Oh, this guy. yeah. It's the guy from so got, uh, from Tim the Toolman. TV shout out. Tim the Tool Man. I was fishing with the guy, with the with Tim the Tool Man's neighbor. <laughs> Just getting out, especially with Coach. It was Coach's <laughs> yeah, birthday. That is. That's coach. It was up, coach's coach? birthday last week. Uh, last Wednesday, and I met Coach uh, over the weekend for for lunch. And I was like, I was like, let's go anywhere you want to go, Coach. My treat. And he's like, let's go to this In and Out. And I was like, In and Out. Yeah. I'm like, dude, I'm buying. Go. Let's go anywhere you want. And he's like, let's go to In and Out. There's a, there's just there's this one In and Out. And we could fish afterwards. I'm like, what? In the city? I'm like, all right. So I go to the in and out in um Santee. For, for some reason in my mind I, I just assumed it was the in and out on uh, in Claremont. And I go to the in and out and I'm like, Where are you? I'm here. And he's like, uh, I'm here too. I don't see you. I'm like, uh, I think I went to the wrong one. He's like, I'm I'm at the one by Mission Valley. And I was like, Okay. All right, cool. I get back in my truck. I drive to the Mission Valley one. <laughs> That's right next to the mall. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, I'm here. I'm waiting for you inside. And like, he's like, I don't see you. I went to the wrong one twice. Oh my god! <laughs> You're that guy. <laughs> that guy. And and he has sent me directions. <laughs> oh my god! But I was like, ah, I know better. I don't need no, I don't need no stinking directions. So anyway, <laughs> finally, way to ruin somebody's birthday. I know. Two in and outs later. I found the right in and out, which is actually one of the newer ones. And uh, we ate. It was awesome. And then he's like, grab your rod. Let's go uh, to this river. I'm like, all right, San Diego River. All right, never done this before, but let's go. And it was pretty cool. It kind of reminded me of my, of my childhood when I used to run around with my friends uh, at the riverbed uh, just doing random stuff in the in the wilds of, uh, of uh, Fillmore, California. <laughs> Anyway, it was pretty cool. It was a cool event. Uh, so we, brought, we we fished like these little tiny hooks, like little, like, I think he calls them mosquito hooks. And um, yeah, I was like, you're not going to catch anything here, are you? And yeah, sure enough, we caught a little, uh, what was it called? A bluegill or a sunfish? Bluegill. Yeah, bluegill. It's bluegill. Yeah. And then Aaron? and my son was with us and his son was with us. And uh, Aaron's like, okay. So we put we set up one of the rods, uh, same setup. And uh, sure enough, Aaron uh, got a bite, and like we we're just amazed that we could catch anything in there. And then he caught two. He nice. caught two today. Got two that day. So it was a really cool outing, and uh, fun. It's completely different. Something I was never like expecting it. But hey, if if there's fish there, coach can catch them. There you go. Yeah. So ha- everybody say in chat, happy birthday, coach! Last yeah. birthday, last Wednesday was coach's birthday. Happy birthday, coach! To get him back on the show. All right, next up, we got uh, David from HD Baits up there in the oh, OC yeah. area. He's flexing on, on you guys. He said, I had a great time with my HD Baits family. Total fish caught 15 of them using a three-inch battle tail blood money color, three-inch battle tail battle chicken color, eight-inch, or I'm sorry, eight-pound Berkeley line, Captain J- Jig Hooks, ball breaker Shimano eight foot rod and a BG 3000 Daiwa. And they all put up a good fight. So So here we go. I think he's got a video we're going to share here. Maybe there we go. Oh, nice. Ball breaker. That's interesting. Three inch HD baits. The bait, the last. I like the name battle chicken. There's a, it reminds me of the nuclear chicken from Berkeley. Uh, Berkeley. That's a very cool. That's a very cool setup. I never fished that setup before. That looks cool. It's the oh, first that time I see cool. it. 
HD Bates David right there is showing off some of his catches. And this right here, check out this fish right here. Uh, he says all these colors are some proven colors that he catches spotties with. He says, this is Phil, my business partner, and he caught himself a 17-inch spotty from Dude. shore. Congratulations, Dang. Phil. That's a whopper. Some big and that's how you measure there. your fish when you're on shore. You know, Let's go. So, it looks like it wears about a size 9. <laughs> so <laughs> we're talking we, like <laughs> Right, we need to get you guys need to get some of those uh some of those uh rollable mats for when just like the regular regular day-to-day -day sessions Grizzly. yeah that's what we need that's all right next up guess what guys we got ourselves a boat when in somebody in the club gets a boat we all get a boat ryan <laughs> at cb in baits let's go ryan he says first trip out on the new center console bam here we go look at that thing looks like launching out a new port bam there we go he says uh sammy prim went out with me to hit the pipe uh, we totaled 13 fish, 12 sand bass, one calico. All fish were caught on hookup baits. Great trip with Sammy. He says his boat is a 2002 Wellcraft 210 center console with a Yamaha 150 four-stroke motor. I said, is there anything you're planning on doing to it? He says, no, it's got everything. It's all ready. I said, I, he said, it's already fully loaded, and he doesn't have to do any upgrades to it. It's ready to fish. So right on, Ryan. Go one more look at that boat. So if you see that boat on the water, give Ryan a shout out. What's up? Catching some sand bass on his brand new boat. So congratulations on the purchase of a new boat. That's going to bring you a lot of joy. Next up. So I, I mentioned this boat a while back. Carl Black in chat right now got himself a pond prowler, which was pretty interesting to me. I've never seen this fishing platform, but it's an inexpensive fishing platform and we're keeping progress on how he's fixing it up he's going to custom build this thing just for spotty bowl and he's showing some of the things he made he says uh he's getting the pond prowler making some upgrades on it he made an aluminum bracket from the scotty track and used a rear grab handle and screws to mount it okay here's some of his progress transducer installed you can see it there off the back and he also got his fish finder installed bam we're getting there it's like a sweet setup transducer off the back he says he's starting to get it dialed in he's got trolling motor up front now i think he's got a little more organized he's got his green red light up there up front and he says he's got his first two rod holders installed looks like a nice job that's pretty, pretty oh, that's a cool little setup right there with the oh and he says that uh, he's bringing down this craft on the no skunk april 20th carl oh, black will be yes there. if anybody wants to check this craft out or give it a shot let oh, carl that's know it's good i'll eyeball this thing and see what we think of this new what is it called the pond prowler 10 oh, prowler from the 10. bass pro shop let's check that thing out i'm interested in that thing 10 foot fit right in the bed of a truck easy you don't know who that is that is david the great ghost up north sent in some videos a little uh skunk fit bite over here starting the new hookup bait uh I'm not sure what color it is. Like the silver, silver something. Yeah. Nice little Ooh. halibut, little shorty. The hub. I bat off of a sunset bite. Nice, David, from shore. Cool. Little, I think that's new. I don't want to say I think ice color, but he's got got a few other little videos he sent me. There he is, big bean. This guy in here. Tape here. <laughs> <laughs> Big old bean. <laughs> we got the Corbino on the on the hookup baits right there too. That's cool. Another video, David. Thank you for sending him all this content. He's showing yeah, up. Right Look at this fish. Going. That's pretty cool. Beautiful. Do another hookup. Look at that smile. <laughs> there we go. Nice day out there. Fishing with your friends, sunset. Let's go, right. David. That's true. There's a nice color. Oh, that's a nice shot. I think that's the ice color. Man, all right. Oh. Some hand is going to stink for a week. Uh huh. <laughs> Never grab a barracuda like that, but whatever. We man it up. I guess he's just grabbing it. Show it off. Next up, we got, oh man, we got a big PB shout out tonight. We got, you know who that is? That is Eric Klein right there. If you don't send what? me a picture. If you don't send me a picture, I'm just going to find one of you. So oh, Eric Klein like, yeah, sent me a picture of this right here. And he says, hey, Brian, 
I had an interesting catch during oh. Spotty Bowl on Saturday and wanted to hear if this has happened to anybody else out there, any of you others. Mid-morning was slow around Sail Bay and Vacation Isle, so I thought I would change things up, and I tried the new Fish Labs three-quarter ounce Bio Shad Tailspin. After a few casts, I caught one Spotty, a couple more casts. I thought I had some eelgrass on there when I brought up a snag, a snagged up a scallop. But when I looked closer, I could see that the scallop shell had wrapped itself around the treble hook. I think he thinks it took like a, a, a swing at it. No, it, 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 probably, it probably just landed right on it when it was open and it closed on it. Closed on it. But still, that counts as a bite, baby. <laughs> First said, ever scallop. <laughs> that, does that for hey, other? He got bit, right? Uh, he... It did bite the lure on purpose, question mark. Uh, did the lure pass through the open shell while it sat on the bottom nope. and maybe snagged it? Nope. Uh, I thought this was interesting, interesting fluke or and continued to my way south. I proceeded to catch, guess what, two more scallops. What? What is going on here? Yeah, so so I, they they do, they're open on their underwater, and if they and if you come close or touch them they'll close so i know that because they used to dive for them when it was okay to dive for them uh in uh in the i forget where it was okay the, the exact beach but they closed it down like years ago but when you when you're diving for the scallops <clears throat> they're on there you they have the open mouth and you can see like the like the seal around the the edge of like the the, the inside of the shells so you got to look at it and you got to basically grab it. And as you grab it, it closes right away. And then it's hard to, it's hard to find it again. If you don't know exactly where it was, if you have to go back up to the surface and back down. So once you, once you touch it and you try to rip it off the rock, you kind of have to do it in that one or else it'll be difficult to identify it again. So yeah, they're normally open when something lands in there or they get disturbed, they'll close. So that's probably what happened. Because it probably has that dangle. We're used to fishing a lot of t hooks up top yeah. during the spotty pole, you know? Yeah. So when you have like that dangling dangling hook on the bottom, maybe they're grabbing that, you know? Uh, he said, I proceeded to catch two more scallops. Wow. And now I'm afraid to let my kids swim in Mission Bay for fear of being devoured by a horde of hungry scallops. Any <laughs> advice, Roman? <laughs> I, I wouldn't worry that's, about that. That's awesome. <laughs> I did not have a picture of the third scallop but actively chomping on my lure before I felt I could get a photo. That's pretty weird. That's really cool. I mean, I've caught like stain dollars before, but just from snagging them, I don't think I've ever caught scallop. That's a good sign that there's like scallops coming back. That's cool. Got spotty food, right? Yeah, I think you get you keep 10 of them, but that to be a certain size. Next up, you don't know who that guy is. That guy is me. Brian likes a fish. I caught a fish that I wanted to show off in Mission Bay just because I want to show off my girl. Many 17-inch fish were caught in Mission Bay, this guy. So if you guys are looking for a monster fish, just head on down to my girl. Tell her I'm, I sent you, and I've, I'm allowing you to go ahead and catch some of these beasts down there. Caught myself a 17-incher, but I wanted nice. to show the rotundness of this thing. Would you look how fat that thing is? Yeah. Just look at my bump board. It's probably an escaped, uh, escaped uh, domestic, domesticated spot because this thing is fat, dude. Please don't pay any attention to the, the, my hand. It is hideous. <laughs> I know it's years of manual labor. There's nothing I can do. It's genetics. I don't know what else to say. But that, okay, everybody in chat, I have weighed this thing. Guess the weight of a 17-inch rotund spotty. Guess the weight. What's your guess, Roman? Um, Three-something. 3.2. Yeah. Anybody else? I don't Ready? Know. Here we go. <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> and the weight is 2.74. <laughs> I like that photo. I, everybody in chat, too, thought three pounder. No, I couldn't believe it. I thought, oh my gosh, finally another three, because three pounders are super it's just rare. Full of, it's just full of air, dude. But, dude, I don't know if the fish was hollow, but, dude, look at it compared to my bump board. Put it on a scale. I'm thinking, oh, yeah, three-pounder coming in, and then this. Oh, my gosh. I love that picture. That's what I do all day. <laughs> I pictured you laughing at me because it was <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll still take a 2.7, so but whatever. I'm hoping for bigger. That's still yeah, awesome okay, fish. Here we go. Are you ready? Uh, nope. It's time for Spotty Bowl. 
begins. Got a 15 inch of your fish. Here you go. Danny Hernandez, 15 inches even from shore, looking good. Nice picture right there. You know what I've ever noticed oh, when you nice. catch them? Sometimes they puff up right here. I don't know. Yep. They like uh, some of them do, some of them don't, but they like have like a bullfrog. Like they puff up right there and they make it really hard to take a picture of them. Some of them, you just have to let them calm down a little bit when they do that. Andy from shore, 15 inches even. Nice fish. Fishing from the rocks. Let's go, Andy. Chad, hookup baits. Man, that's a big hookup bait. 15 yeah. inch even. Or 15 and a half, sorry, like a half Chad. Half ounce or what? Chad also contending for fishiest hand of the year. We're going to have that award, by the way. We're all going to vote. <laughs> uh, Thomas Warren, 15.5 from the float tube. <sighs> Looks good. Four rods on the float tube. Dang. Five rods. Kevin Canoy, 15.5. Nice pitcher. Nice clean kayak. Well organized. I like it. The main thing I like about this is just seeing everybody's rigs. <laughs> I, mean, I know. I got to see. I got to see everybody's rig. Don't forget to. Oh my gosh. Cast. We're not doing oh, cut, or cast, right? cut or cast. No, you don't have to say it. Cut or cast. I just spotted this in this in this yak, and I want you guys to vote cut or cast on this. Look at Ralph Rodriguez. Yeah, yeah. You caught a fifteen point seven five. That's a nice fish. But look at here to the left. You know what that is? That is a battery powered light on a switch. That uh, is sweet, dude, for a kayak. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Cut or cast? Is it waterproof? Nice job, Ralph. I don't know. Those things are pretty cool. I've seen those things at Home Depot before, but cut or cast. you got a light switch, light for measuring spotties on your kayak. Congratulations by that. 15.75 is good fish. Kevin, 16.25. Here we go. Getting into some big fish. 16.25. I'm going to say cast on my boat. Cut means no, cast means yes. And the results are we got 694 people in. Go ahead and end that poll. Ooh, it's close. I can't end it. It's it's a it's 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 a it's a dead heat. The dead heat. All right. Kevin Keller, 16.25. That fish is slimy. Nice pitcher though. 16.25 looks good. Everything looks good. 16.5, Michael Taylor. Man, Michael, that's a big fish. That's his mulligan week. So Michael's got all kinds of accessories. He's got a radio. Is that that Yak Attack box at the... That's like a fuse box? Away this week? That's pretty sweet. I don't know. I've oh, yeah, that's, that. a, that's right. It's like a little tackle box that fits on the rail. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. What are you using a gaff for? Anyway, uh, Wyatt, 16.75. Wow. A nice fish right there. Got a pointy head. He's bleeding. Here we go. Two fish. Derwin Changing. I got one. He's got two fish right there. Nice fish there, Derwin. Luke pulling out three fish Jeez. with the big old kicker fish, the 17.75. Dang, man. That's a big fish right there. Take a look at that thing. Well, anytime it's over the bump board on both sides, that's your big one right there. That's crazy. Wow. And you know what? That, see that, that thing's super dark? That thing's been living in a hole somewhere, getting no sunlight. That thing rarely comes out of that hole. Congratulations for catching that thing. That's probably the one usually only feeds at night. And then this guy right here, Brian likes fish, 15, 17, 15, 16. Two from shore, two from. But would you please take another look at that 17, Roman? My gosh. It's How like, is it not three it's like a, pounds? It's like a football, look at it dude. compared to one of the right of it, the 16. It's just a football, dude. Dude, it's a. How? 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 All right. And the biggest fish of the tournament, of course, is Luke, big fish. And with that, Roman, I'm going to exit my screen share. All right. A round of applause for the live studio audience. Oh, my gosh. The show went – I'm so sorry the show went super long. We got into a little rambling at the very beginning right there. But I do appreciate everybody hanging out. I look forward to the no skunk. I look – everybody heading out there 7 a.m. It's going to be a fun weekend. We got good weather ahead of us. Normally, I would chug a beer right now. Or not a beer. I'm sorry. Sparkling water. But there's no spotty bowl this weekend. So I get a rest, and I will be out on the water this weekend, snagging grass, catching bass. I will see you guys out there. I am out of here later, Rowan. All right, taking Brian out with a round of applause from the live studio audience. Thanks, Brian. Thanks uh, to the judge. Eric, I know it's a lot of work. You got what you wanted. <laughs> uh, let's get messing with, messing with, with Eric. Oh, we end the poll. That is a, looks like it's a, a cast. It is a cast. Good idea. Let me know. I want to see those light switches in your kayaks. 
If you guys decide to install a light switch on your kayak, send me a picture. We can put it on PB Shoutouts. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, like, I just think it's funny to have the actual light switch. <laughs> I'm gonna get one of those for my, for my sonar. <laughs> Very nice, okay. We'll be back here next week for another episode of Fishy Hour. That might actually be an hour, not Fishy two hours. Uh, it'll be fun. Brian's gonna reveal the secret that he's been holding this whole episode. I know. Hopefully, you, hopefully you can wait that week, right? I'll be back here as well, just having having a blast. I'm uh, getting back on the water more now, so it's uh, it's nice. It's nice to be on the water. Okay, if you want to watch me fish live, I'm doing it Tuesdays. I'll be putting out a recap video, I think maybe Thursdays of that session, so tomorrow. And uh, if you have any questions about fishing, if you're new, especially if you're new and you're trying to figure it out, Saturday's the best time to come out with this. I met a couple people on the stream last night that are going to come out because they happen to be on the stream, but they're like, I just got a kayak and I live in San Diego. And I'm like, well, come out with us this weekend. So it's going to be a blast. So I hope you see you there. I'm really, really excited and stoked that uh, Carl is going to make the drive down. So it's awesome. We're probably going to have some a good lunch. Hey, Point Loma Seafoods because Carl's coming over. We got to go, got to go big time. Okay. And then uh, <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys on Saturday. If I don't see you on Saturday, I'll see you guys next Wednesday. But until then, remember, may the bite be with you. Woo! All right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs>